Hey everyone, this is Mike Glover, and today I'm going to walk through the process of setting up a base calibration for a 1994 Mustang GT convertible 5 speed. You can download the final version of this calibration from our Tweaker Yahoo file section. There's a link in the video description below that you can use to download it. The details of the combo on this 94 GT are um, a DSS 331 forged and race prepped, uh, trick flow twist wedge heads milled about 30 to 40 thousandths, providing approximately 10 and a quarter to one compression, trick flow stage two camshaft, GT40 upper and lower, 42 pound injectors, Pro M80 matched to the injectors, uh, stock five speed, 373 out, out back, and um, all emissions equipment is operational. Always begin editing a new calibration with the scalers tab. Items like engine displacement, injector slopes, rev limits, speed limiters. These data items will not change much, if any, after I make the initial edits. All right, so working from top to bottom on the scalers tab, the first item we're going to change is the checksum base address. Uh, setting this to zero will keep uh, the onboard diagnostics from reporting error code 15 ROM checksum error. The next PID that we will look at is the EGR system type. Uh, the factory setting is zero for PFE. Uh, one would be sonic and two would be disabled or no EGR system. Uh, that disables all EGR-based scalers and tables and functions. The next PID is um, pretty straightforward, engine displacement. Uh, just enter the cubic inch uh, value for uh, your, your motor. Um, it will round it slightly if you click refresh and come back to the uh, value. You can see it rounded down slightly due to binary precision, but that's that's a minimal factor and, and not a problem. The high speed and low speed fan on and off temp should be adjusted on just about any uh, application. Uh, I generally drop them a flat 20 degrees at minimum, so 224 would become 204, 200, and 208. Uh, lower, uh, further down the list, there will be um, the uh, low speed fan on off temps, and you'll adjust those down 20 degrees also. Next, in most instances, you will want to increase the uh, idle. Um, if you have automatic, you'll adjust both uh, idle in gear and idle in neutral. Um, this is a five speed, so we'll only adjust the um, neutral base, and this is the base value. There are adders for ISC control that are uh, will increase uh, this value uh, depending on throttle state, et cetera. Uh, with uh, stage two cam, I'm going to start off around 850, which actually will round down to 840, 848. The next uh, group of uh, PIDs that we'll be adjusting are um, injector specific. First one being injector minimum pulse width. I set this value to zero um, for many different reasons that uh, we'll discuss um, in more detail in a separate video. Uh, injector breakpoint, uh, there's a table within the uh, our um, uh, getting started PDF and other areas of the uh, Yahoo group uh, where you can find values for for these. Uh, I uh, For 42 pound injectors, this is generally where I start. Um, and then for the high and low slopes, we can go uh, 42 and 52. And those will round and we'll come back to them and you'll see the uh, values that they show up as. Uh, these are 
generally pretty solid values to start with uh, for 42-pound injectors, um, and from there you'll tweak the math. Um, some people like to come in and, and tweak on the injector slopes. I might uh, adjust the injector slope low a little bit, but generally I set the injector slope high, which is your actual injector size to you know the proper value, whether it be 19, 24, 30, 36, 42, on up to 83 and, and whatever else is available, even though it does begin to lose some of its uh, effectiveness up above 70, 80, um, and the max value is, uh, if I remember correctly, 112. The minimum and max uh, math voltages um, define the, the range, the usable range of the math transfer. Uh, they kind of clip it off at the top for repeatability and at the bottom of the curve. Um, in most in instances, we'll go ahead and extend this to almost the full range by setting the max uh, to 4.9998, which gives you basically 5, and then uh, 0 0.125. And that will give you the full usable range for the math transfer. The next value I'm going to adjust is the minimum spark for tip in retard. This is a clip value that tells the not to um, uh, lower the tip in spark any uh, lower than this value. And with this setup, I'm going to start at 10 and adjust plus or minus uh, depending on fuel octane and um, um, depending on how the, the engine reacts. The next uh, PID that we'll adjust is the um, uh, PIP filter, or MNPIP8. Uh, the factory setting is about 6250-6500, and this combo will rev to 7000, so I will set the PIP filter to 700, which will actually allow up to about 7500 uh, if I wanted to, but I'll just keep the, uh, the stock rev limiters where they are. If you do need to adjust your uh, rev limiter, this is your uh, hard rev limiter here. Um, if if you have a uh, aftermarket ignition that you're going to let uh, control your um, rev limiter, then you want to set this above whatever you have, uh, whatever pill or uh, setting you have on your uh, ignition. Uh, otherwise, if you're using the Ford one, I like to soften it up a little bit by uh, putting a little bit of a cushion. Um, between the uh, off and on value, so you'll get a little bit of a bounce there. Uh, the neutral rev limit you can set to the same values. Um, uh, I find that if I set it below the uh, the hard rev limit, a lot of sometimes this one seems to kick in even uh, for the hard one, so I just set them the same. Spark Adder Global is just that. It's a value that is added to the... Uh, tables and functions globally you know, on the final um, uh, spark calculation. Uh, it accepts uh, positive or negative values, so you can add or remove spark advance uh, depending on you know, uh, fuel octane on one day versus another. The speed limiter values are based on transmission output shaft speed. Um, I've already changed these values to the max 16383. And you need to change all of them to that value, and that will eliminate the speed limiter altogether. Another part of the uh, emission system, the uh, TAB-TAD uh, uh, diverter, is uh, a simple switch. If, if you have it, um, if you still have the system enabled, then you can leave it. Otherwise, you set it to zero, and that will eliminate all. Control logic for the, the thermactor air injection. On a five speed, this uh, torque control minimum ECT really uh, probably isn't in effect, but if you have a AODE, you'll definitely want to set that to 254 to eliminate uh, any torque control, torque reduction for shifting and, and other at other times.
on all calibrations, you're going to want to adjust the watt max air charge correction factor to the max 1.98. Uh, this is very important uh, for um, vehicles with uh, strokers or uh, boosted applications.